Okay. Uh, good evening, I remember. Welcome to drawing tonight's course. Today we will. I'm going to talk about indicator application. Uh, next time I will teach every member how to combine with indicators. So today we will learn the indicator, some indicators like uh, KDG, like uh, ISI or Valiant. So let's see the definition of indicator. Before the class, let's see the market first. Do you still remember one word? One word. The market will go up in July, and uh, the market will go down in August. So if you have some stocks, you should prepare to catch some good opportunity for in this month and uh, sell for short term next month. Okay. So firstly, let's see the index first. Then. Because we know that index first, stock next. So let's see the index. This is the STI index, okay? So we know, last time I already told every member, if you want to know where is the uh, resistance and where is the support, so you can use the previous high and the low point, okay? So we can see this. One. This is the previous high point. This is the previous low point. Previous low point. Previous high point. Then we know that if the price touch this point, the previous low point, this is the support. So if the price can be supported, it tells us that there has some short-term opportunity to catch some profit. Okay, so we can see the market has some rebound. Okay, then we know that here, then this is the last month. Okay, at the end of last month, the, pri the, market, the price just uh, touched the resistance. So we want to know whether can upward breakthrough or not. So we can next day, can upward breakthrough, uh, breakthrough or not. No, so it tells us that they have some short-term correction, okay? So this is the market. We know that here is the support and here is the resistance. If we want to make some profit or if we want to buy some stocks, we need to check whether the market, the STI index can upward break through the previous high point or not. If cannot, where is the next buy point? We can know here is the gap, right? Here is the big gap. So if the price drop, then here is the support. If the price fall below the support, here is another support, okay? Then the price will cover the gap, okay? So how to use the indicators to find, to judge the support and resistance or judge the periodical high point or low point? Firstly, we can use this one. This is the time black hole. It can help us to judge whether this is the, there is a turning point or not. Okay, then we can see next one. This one is called dynamic trips. And I think this indicator is very suitable for short term investment. If you want to buy low, sell high, this is a good function. Okay, so we can see they have three colors. Then we see here. If you see the, we see here, then it can help us, can show us the uh, trips. So we see here, if we move the, move the, move to here, so we can see here is the trips, right? It tells us that this is the resistance or support. Then if the price go up again, so we see here, can you, then we can see here, the pop, the yellow color turned to the red color. What's that meaning? So we see here, dynamic chips, they have three colors. The purple color means the oversold area. If the purple turned to the yellow color, means you can do short-term rebound, only for short-term. Then if the purple yellow color turned to the red color, represents the this is the overbought area. If the, ye the if the red if the red color turn to the yellow color means you should sell for short term investment. But this one is only for short term. Just now 
we talk about just not average total every member because we know that the market may go up in July. Okay, so we should know whether it can upward breakthrough or not. We should judge. We should check by the volume. Okay, so we see here. Last time I already show you how to use volume to judge the uh, price. If the price go up, the volume increase. This is the normal rising, right? So if we see here, it's the good. But if you see the price go up, but the volume decrease, this is the bottom. Uh, this is the top deviation. You should prepare to sell out your stocks because it's very dangerous. Okay? If the, you see the price go down, then the volume increase. It tells you that this is the normal correction, okay? Then if you see the price go down, then the volume increase. So in the, for, for the beginning, it's not good. But if you see the price drop for a while, then the volume increase shortly means you can catch some short-term profit, okay? So this is the market. So let's see the, this is the daily chart. Then we can see the weekly chart. Weekly chart, we can see the pattern. Which pattern it's like? Okay, then we can see here. This is the high point, another high point. This is the low point, the low point. So what's the trend? The trend is uptrend or downtrend or sideways. Sideways, right, because the high point is lower, but the low point is higher. So this is the sideways area. Okay, then we can connect these two points, then connect this point. Which pattern? Triangle pattern, right? Okay, so if the price can upward break through the triangle pattern, it's good or not? It's good. Last time I taught the uh, last time I taught I remember the bot the top pattern or bottom pattern. Okay, so you can see here if the price can go up again, maybe you have another chance to do some good profit. Okay, this is the weekly chart. So now it is it's very important because we know that here is the so we should pay more attention to this week, okay? To next, uh, to this week. If this week the price can go up, what's that meaning? It means that we can do some short-term, we can operate some short-term investment, okay? Then we can see the monthly chart. This is the monthly chart. Monthly chart, you will know that here is the support and the, here is the resistance, okay? This is for the monthly chart. So with better, if we want to uh, judge the market, we had better see the monthly first, then weekly, then daily chart, okay? So this is the market we should pay more attention. If the price can go up again, you have another chance, but be cautious about the previous high point, okay? So let's see some individual stocks. Let's see this one. This one is called Novo. Okay, this is the Novo, right? So we see here, Then we can see the trend. This is the, we, we cannot judge whether this is the low point or not. Okay, so we see here. Then, just now I told I remember, if you see the price went up, then volume increase. So what's that mean? It's good, right? It's normal. Okay, then we can see here. Then the price drop for period, then here, the volume increase, right? The big volume. Then go up, go down again. The volume, then the price go up again. The volume decrease or increase. The big volume, the volume increase, right? So it tells us that the mark, the price may go up again, okay? So this is for short of rebound. So we see here. Then the price drop. The volume decrease or increase. 
the volume decreased. This is a normal correction, right? So it tells you that if you see the candlestick like this, so you see the big volume and the big bullish candlestick. So it tells us that here is the good chance to make some short-term profit. Okay, then if you see next day, the price drop had some short-term correction, it's the good chance to get in, okay? So if you buy, you can catch some short-term profit, okay? So whether this stock still have chance or not, okay? Last time I showed, I already told, I remember how to judge the low point or high point. You can use your fingers, right? If your finger is like this, this is the low point. This is the high point. Okay, so we see here, the low point already confirmed. This is the low point. This is another low point, right? Okay, so we can draw the line. If we confirm the low point or high point, then we can draw the line, okay? So, the overall trend is still in the downtrend, but we can do some short-term correction, okay? So, how, if you have this stock, where is the next sell point? Half of this period, okay? So, if you see the price go up and uh, touch here is the resistance. You'd better sell for short term. Then we can see another stock. This stock is strong or not? It's extremely strong, right? Okay, so last time I show you how to find the strong pattern, okay? So we can see this stock. Then the, this stock drop, then go, then the, this is the low point. This is another low point. The low point, didn't create, this stock didn't create a new low. So what's that meaning? It's another chance to buy, right? Okay, so we see here. If we confirm that, so then this is the previous, this is the low point. Then this is another low point. If the price, if the share didn't hit a new low, which means that we can pay more attention because may have the share may have some chance. Okay, then the price go up again. Then we can see here, the price go up again. Then some correction, right? Then go up, then. So how to use function to judge the share? Just to find the share, find the good buy point. We know that this is the multicolor dragon, right? This function is called multicolor dragon because it can help us to draw, to check the bank money, okay? The next one, this is the homely rainbow. So how to use the good function to catch some good profit? Okay, so we know that this is the homely rainbow. The white, the white line stands for the long-term investment. Then the blue line stands for the medium long term. The yellow line stands for medium term. And the red line represents the short term investment, short term trend, okay? So we see here. Then if you see the price, then the price, you can see the yellow line. Then the yellow line from go up again here. So it tells you that this is the first rising phase, right? Okay, then if you see another day, the price drop had some correction, right? Okay, so it tells you that they have you have another chance to catch profit. Okay, because we know that for the four stocks or for the market, if we want to catch some profit, if this is the first uh, rising phase, right? But he, this phase is difficult to catch. Then the price drop. Then this one we can catch. We can catch some profit. Okay. So how to find this one? Then the price go up. Then had some correction. If you see the multicolor dragon, the red clam, go up and above to fifty percent again. Here is another buy point, okay? So, but the premise is that they have first rising phase, okay? So we see here, the price go down, then go up again. 
then have some correction. If you see the red clamp, red clamp go up and above 50 again, it's another chance to buy, okay? So you can catch the profit for next chance. You can catch the profit. Okay, so here, the red clamp is above 50. Whether can we buy or not? Yes, this is the buy point because we can see here is the first rising phase. This is the premise, okay? So here, we can, can we buy or not? Yes, can we buy? Then we can buy. Then we can make some good profit, okay? So we see here. Then the red clamp is above 50 again. Can we buy or not? Maybe some investors will think about, will concede because it's too high already. But, uh, please remember the two sentences. You should uh, pay more attention to the stocks which can create a new high continuously. Cannot buy the stocks, always hit a new low, okay? So we can see here, then the price, then the red clamp above 50 again is another chance to get in. So you can make some short term profit. If you buy here, you still keep, then you can earn some profit, right? This is the strong stocks, but why do I have ch another chance? To, so when can we get in again? Now if we want to buy, can we buy or not? Now it's a little dangerous, right? Because you missed a good chance. You need to wait until the price has some correct, then go up again, okay? You also can use this one to, to keep some, because you should see the, red, the yellow line go up, okay? This is the premise. Then if you see the red clam, it's about 50 again. Maybe you have another chance to get in, okay? So this is the some stock that we can see today's course. The definition of indicators. Definition processing in accordance with a fixed formula for the original data according to the statistical theory and chart achievement results to judge the stock market. So what's the original data? We can know the open price, the high price, low price, close price, volume, amount, and so on. Okay, so we'd, be we'd better check the close price. Okay, because the close price is extremely important for us to judge the market. And the volume, I think close price and volume is very important, okay? Then we can see next one. The application principle of indicator. If you want to use some indicators to judge the market or judge the individual stocks, the first one, every technical indicator observes the stock market from a particular point. Therefore, these indicators cannot solve all problems. So if we maybe we used we used the KDJ or ISI or MACD before, but we but uh, we can see the accuracy is not good, right? Because the indicators cannot solve all problems. The next one, each tool has its own application scope and environment. Technical indicators are no exception, which cannot apply to much, much, uh, metrically. The next one, mature authentication must be different indicators, otherwise make no sense. So we we want to combine some indicators, but if you want, if you uh, combine the trend indicator to the other trend indicator, it's no sense, right? Because maybe we can see this the software. We know that the strong signal. So we see here the this. We see this. We can see this one. So firstly, let's see the trend expert. The trend expert, we know that this is the trend indicator, right? Okay. Then we can we can we combine with another trend indicator. The red and white circle is trend indicator also, right? Can we combine with these two indicators? It's no sense, you know? Because if we buy here, 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 it's no sense. So we cannot combine the, both the same indicators, okay? Then we can see next one. 
price trend analysis must be combined with the indicator application, okay? So we see the usage of indicator. Measure is for experts when using indicator. Golden cross, dead cross, strong area, weak area, top deviation, bottom deviation, overbought, and uh, oversold. Every indicator you can you when you using you can judge the golden cross that cross or strong or like this okay so we see next one the trading signal confirmation of indicator check the position of golden cross on that cross which means the trend is in or rebound it means that the price will continue to go up after short term consolidation if strong golden cross however it indicates the rebound will end if that cross in low area. The price will have short-term retracement if strong golden cross. On the other hand, the trend will change to medium-term uptrend if that cross in low area will keep to go to strong area. Similarly, that cross in high area and keep to go to weak area, which means the trend will change to medium-term downtrend, okay? So let's see the con classification of indicator. The probability indicators like the KDJ, RSI, then WE, William, the PSY, ARBR, these indicators. Then we can see the trend indicator, BIS, MACD, EXTMA, EMI, BOLL. The energy indicator, OBV, VR, okay? So this, if you want to no, to judge the indicators, so we see here. Can we use KDJ SI together? No, because they belong to they all belong to probability indicators. Okay, then we cannot combine BIS to with MACD. Okay, but we can combine KDJ MACD or SI DMI. Okay, because different in classification. Okay, then we can see next one. BIAS. BIAS is derived from Granville rules. Granville rules do not exactly express the point where the price starts to move towards the moving average. For it is relative with the strength of market and BIAS is developed to measure the distance. So BIAS can express the average distance between intraday index or stock price and the moving average. Then we can see next one. BIAS is divided into positive and negative BIAS. If the stock price is above the average line, it's positive. While the stock price is below the average line, it's negative. And when the price cross average line, it's zero. The larger the positive BIAS is, the more the short-term profit is, and the bigger the possibility of the profit taking is. While the larger the negative BIS is, the bigger the possibility of the short-term coming is. Okay, so this is some theory. We just uh, browse it. Okay, then we can see BIS. A, it is called a positive BIS when the price is above moving average. The price is above moving average. However, it's negative BIS when the price is below moving average. BIS is zero when the price coincides with the moving average. The next one, there's no fixed uh, numerical limit if the value of BI is up and down around zero, which is the, a swing indicator. Next one, the trading signal is the same between BIS and the moving average. So the 10 days BIS, it belongs to danger area. Once 10 days BIS is above five. However, the price is in oversold when 10 days BIS reaches to minus five. And we can do short term rebound once BIS go up to above minus five again. Okay, so what's that meaning? This is the BIAS, and we we use the 10 days BIAS, okay? If we see here, then this is the price. Then BIAS, then below minus five, then go up to above minus five again. Here is the chance, right? Then here is another one. 
here is another one. So here is another chance to catch some short-term profit. But you should remember, this is only for catching short-term buy point. Okay, remember. 10 days movie, uh, the 10 days BIAS is above 5, then the price is in oversold when 10 days BIAS reaches to minus 5. Then we can do short term rebound once the BIAS go up to above minus 5 again. Okay, so this is the 5 point, so you should remember. Then we can see this start. Okay, so this is the 10 days BIAS. So if you see the 10 days BIAS below, minus five then go up and above minus five again it's another chance to buy okay so we can see some stocks then we can find the BIAS first we should click indicator then double click the second window then double click BIAS okay so we need to, we only use 10 days BIS, so we can delete the five days. Then we can click setting, find the BIS, then use 10 days BIS, click save, then click OK. So we only use this one. So we can see this start, normal. So we see here. This is the BIAS, right? The parameter is minus 80. What's that meaning? It's the oversold area. But can we buy or not? We should, uh, we should wait and see. If you see the price, so we see here. Here can we buy or not? The price here, can we buy or not? Can we buy or not? If you see the BIAS go down, it tells you that you should wait and see, okay? Then we can see next day. Then the BIAS below minus five again, okay? Then it tells us that the bottom area, okay? So we see here, here can we buy or not? Can we get in? If we see this indicator, can we buy or not? This is the line, right? So we should pay more attention whether the BIAS is above minus five, is above minus five again or not. So here, above or not? Yes, so can we buy or not? Yes, we can buy, but only for short term, you should remember. If you want to do short term profit, short term investment, you better set stop loss, okay? Because if you buy, then maybe the price will go down, right? But you should set stop loss point. Then we can see, we can find, we can use some high volume stocks to charge. Okay. Yes, below. But you should know, you should set stop loss point because it's only for short term rebound, right? So if you see the PAS go down again, you can set stop, you can stop loss. Yes. Later I will show you, then we can see some <coughs> stocks. We can find some high volume stock. The first one is noble, high volume stocks. Every, we should find some strong stocks among these high volume stocks, okay? Because the high volume stocks means it's, they are active. Okay, so we see here. Then below minus five, then can we buy or not? So here, can we buy again or not? So here, can we buy again or not? Can, but this is only for short-term rebound. So 
you should remember, you should judge by the indicator if you want to improve, improve your accuracy. So you should pay more attention here. Then the this is the down channel up channel, down channel right. Okay, so what's the difference between these two points? So we see here, this is another day. The price, the BIS is above minus five again. But why this point we cannot get in? So we see here, the price drop or down? The drop or up? Drop right. And we should check by the volume. So here, the price drop, can we buy or not? We'd better wait and see, okay? Then we can see here, minus five, then go up to here again, can we buy or not? Go up to minus five again, can we go or not? Can we get in or not? No, because we can see the indicator and the volume, okay? Why this point we can get in? So we see here, minus five, then you'd better here, can we buy or not? Yes. So if you want to improve your accuracy, you can you can confirm by the volume and the indicator, okay? So we see this is the first one. Then we can see next one. This is another indicator, Williams. So whether this stock is good or not. So we see the, firstly, if we want to judge the trend, this we should see the overall trend, okay. So obvious, which pattern? The triangle pattern, right? Okay, then we can see this dot. The price drop. Then this is the triangle pattern. The first high low point, another one, another one, another one. So when to get in? If you want, if you want to buy some stocks, if you judge this stock, so which price is the good buy point? You should see whether the price can go up or not. So the price go up, go up, up or break through the resistance, the triangle pattern, then rebound, then correct, then go up again. So here is good chance to buy. So this price, you can pay attention. You can draw the pattern, okay? So if you see the price like this, go up, go up, go up, then go down, then touch, go up again. So here is good chance to buy, okay? But this stock, you can put into your favorite. Then we can see this one, no need to care. This is strong stocks, right? So we can use BIS. Where is the good buy point? So we see here, the price, BIAS below minus five, right? Then we can see another day. This one, below minus five, we can see this is the parameter, okay? We can see this one. This is the parameter minus seven. Then we can pay more attention. So here, can we buy or not? The BIAS, go up and above minus five again. So here is the good buy point or not? Okay, then we can see, check by the volume. Can we buy or not? Maybe you will think about wait, then this day buy or not? So you can wait, right? Then go down again, right? So here, can we buy or not? Because we can see the BIS above minus five for yen and volume increase, can we buy or not? You can buy, but for short term. So we see here, this is the minus five, right? 
then this day cannot buy right because the volume is not good. Then we can see next day go below uh, above minus five again and the volume increase. So here is another buy point. Okay, then you can buy for keep for long term. Okay, then if you see the BIAS is above zero, maybe strong area. Okay, below zero is the weak area. Then we can see next one. This is the Hudson. So we can see this dark. Genting, Singapore. Okay, so we see this dark. Then the BIAS below minus five, right? Then go up to above minus five again. So another day, can we buy or not? For short term. This point, can we buy for short term or not? Yes, okay. Then only for short term. Short term, maybe one day or two days or some three days is up to you, okay? Then we can see another one. Minus five again, then go up to, again, right, go up and above minus five again. Can we buy or not? But we should know that this is the downtrend. If you want to buy some stocks in the downtrend, you'd better keep your stay, keep your position. You should uh, uh, set, uh, you, you cannot put four position, okay? Maybe one third position, then you can do some short term rebound. So we can see here. Then, here there's no minus. So you can use this method to find some short term buy point. Okay, then we can see next one, this dark. So the price, if you see the 10 days BIAS below minus five, then go up to minus five again, and above the minus five again is the short term buy point. But only, f you should know, this is the short term, only for short term, not for medium long term. So this is the short term, you can make some short term profit. But if you see the price, the share is in the downtrend, you'd better keep your hold your position, okay? Control your position. Then if you see the price is in the uptrend, you can you can buy uh, whatever you want, whatever you want. You can buy maybe uh, four position, it's up to you. But the premise is that whether the share is in the uptrend or downtrend is very important for us, okay? Because we can see this stock. This stock is uptrend or downtrend? Uptrend, right. Okay, so if you see here, see here, see here, so you can buy, right. Then we can see next one. The application of combining with moving average. It's good time to get in when the price had short-term retracement in uptrend and the value of short-term BIS is larger negative. Sell when the price has rebound in the downtrend and the value of BIS is larger positive. Because it is hard to change the media long-term downtrend from short-term rebound. So we can see here. This is the moving average, okay? This is the BIAS. If you see the price just to touch the moving average and get some resistance, and the BIAS starts to go down, it's the sell point, okay? And we can see this, you'd better sell quickly. So we can see next one. The factors of influencing BIAS. The price change is the most important factor. The amplitude of long-term BIS is larger than the short-term BIS due to different periods. The next one, the standard of self-judgment of different analysis also affects 
the judgment. Okay, so just now we talk about the BIAS, and I hope you can use this indicator to catch some short-term profit. Okay, because we know that if we can, if we can grasp one indicator very well, I think it's better than the others, which who grasp so many indicators but just but not very well. Okay, so next indicator is called BOL volume. The principal, the next one, mid line, 20 day moving average. Upward channel line, 20 day moving average plus 20 day closing price. The downward channel, channel line, 20 days moving average, then 20 day closing price. So this is the principal, okay? We just uh, know that it's okay. Then the judgment gears. The first one, it is short-term sale opportunity when the price upward breaks through upward channel line and touch the resistance. The next one is short-term buy opportunity when the price downward breaks through down chain, downward channel line and touch the support. Buy when the price fall below the downward channel line while sell once the price upward breaks through the upward channel line, okay? So we can see this stock. This is the boiling boiling line, okay? B O L L. Then we can see here. If you see the price upward break through the boiling, means you can sell for short term. Then touch the up downward channel line. This is the buy point for short. Then go up again. It's another sell point, okay? So if you want to buy low, sell high. Buy carefully, sell quickly. You can use this one to simple to uh, judge your buy and sell point simply. Okay. Then the price is in strong area when the price is above midline. <coughs> midline is 20 day moving average for a long period and uh, continuously upward breakthrough, upward channel line. Moreover, the body moves in the horizontal direction which means the price will go up. We can get in once the price retrace. The next one, holding stock, when the price moves between middle line and upper channel line, the volume is up, which is the best confirmation method for judging the option. It's necessary to sell in time once the price upward breaks through the middle line. Okay, then we can see this stock. The price Upward breaks through the upward middle line, upward channel line, sell for short term. Then we can see the middle line. The, if you see the middle line go up, which means that this is for the middle long term uptrend, okay? So if you see the price is a, retrace to the middle line and go up again, here is another chance. But the premise is that the middle line go up. Okay, so here sell, then here is another buy point. Okay, so this is the balling. The judgment scares. The price is in weak area when the price is below middle line for a long period and continuously cross down trend. This is just now we talk about this one. Okay, then we can see this one. Firstly, we know that this is a down trend or up trend. Obviously, it is downtrend. Why? Because we can see the middle line go down. Then it shows us that this is a downtrend. Okay. So if you, we know that this is a downtrend, we'd better sell quickly and bear, buy carefully. Okay. Then we can see the price down uh fall below or downward break through the downward channel channel line. So here maybe you can catch some short-term rebound, but you should know that. If you want to buy, you should sell quickly. When you see the price go rebound and uh, touch the middle line, you should sell quickly. So here if you buy, you should sell quickly. Here if you buy, you should sell quickly because this is the downtrend, okay? We should uh, sell and uh, keep money in the downtrend, okay? It is the turning point when boiling narrow. The turning point is 
easy to happen once the boiling narrow. The price will rise when bar upward enlarge. However, the price will fall when the price fall below downward channel and the downward enlarge. Okay. So this is if you see the the channel the narrow means you should pay more attention. This is a turning point. Then go up again. Then mid line go up. So it tells you that the price will go up. Okay. But if you see the this is a narrow, right? Then the midline go down. Means you should sell because the price may go down. Okay. The next one we are we are quantitative indicator. It's the ratio of the total amount of ascending trading days to that of descending trading days. We are can reflect the version of trading and the activity of market and master the future tendency. Because today we learn so many indicators, but you should find the most suitable indicators for yourself. Okay, we are can show the market momentum trading, market activity, and grasp the market trend. Okay, so the judgment skills, the volume of the price rising and falling is equal when the volume capacity ratio at 100%. It is normal when we are distributed and 80% to 150%. The price fluctuation is small. The next one, the price is in warning area when we are is above 350% and we should prepare to sell. However, the price is in also area when we are is below 60% and we should pay attention to the market rebound or reverse. The re effect is extraordinarily good in conjunction with BIS, okay? So this is the VR, the BIS, okay? So if you see the VR, it's in oversold area. Then we can see BIS, the buy conditions are satisfied. Okay, so this is the buy point. So this is another buy point. But if you see the VR, it's in overbought area, okay? Then the BIS go down. So here is the sell point. Okay, so you can combine with these two indicators to judge. Okay, so if you see the VR, firstly we should know that we should find the VR whether it's in oversold area or overbought. The VIAS whether the buying condition are satisfied or not. Then we can use these two indicators to judge where is the good buy point. Okay. Then the next one, we are is up at low, indicating that by big volume increase continuously, while the price is not rising smoothly, which is the good opportunity to collect the chips. Okay, so we see this one. This is the VR. If we see here, the price drop, then the VR go up, and the low point is higher and higher. Means the banker collect the chips, okay? Then if you see the VR, the VR go up again, here is another buy point, okay? Then we can see next one, notes. The reliability is high when VR is in the low area, when VR is in the high area. We can combine with RSI to judge more reliable sell signal at high, okay? So this is the RSI, this is the VR. We know that RSI, later I will show you, I will tell you how to use RSI because this is the common indicator, right? Okay, then we can see here. This is the VR, the low point, it's lower, right? And we can see the RSI is strong area because if we see the RSI, it's above 50, is the strong area. So here means we can we cannot get in, right? Because the VR is in high area. Then we can see here the VR is in low area, and the the RSI is above 50. Maybe here is another chance to buy. Okay, to catch some good profit. The next one is OBV. 
Later, I will show you how to use OBV to filter some strong stocks. And I think this filter method is very good, okay? Because long, long time ago, I used this filter method to filter one stock, which is called best word, but it's long, long time ago, okay? So if you learn this method, and I hope you can use it very well, because this filter method, no need so many conditions. It's very simple, okay? The OBV, on balance volume is the main analysis tool of USA Investment Analysis, Lee Granville. OBV is one of the most important indicators. OBV quantifies the amount of volume into trend line to coordinate with price trend line. OBV is used to judge the market sentiment from the price and volume change. It's based on the main theory that market price changes must acquire the coordination of volume and the fluctuations of stock price is associated with the expansion or contraction of volume. Usually the rising of stock price requires larger volume, while the falling of stock price requires smaller volume. If the volume doesn't correspond with the price movement, the price is hard to sustain its change. The judging scale, the direction of OBV, whether deviation with stock price or not, the normal price volume relationship is price rise and volume increase, price drop and volume decrease. This is normal, okay? It is a buy point when the price go up and the OBV upward breaks through n type, n type high point constantly. What's the n type? N type is here, it's like this. Okay, this is the upright, the N. So this is the N type, okay? So like this one, this is the N type. Okay, the next one. Conversely, the price fall and the OBV downward breakout N type low point. Every breakout are considered a sell signal, okay? So we can see here. Where is the buy point? This is the buy point because like this is the N type, right? If you see the price can upward break through the N type, it's the buy point, okay? So here is N type, then break up, then here is the buy point. Then this is another N type, upward break through the N type high point is buy point. So here is another buy point, okay? So this is the buy point. So this is the sell point because this is the N type. If you see the price fall below the N type low point, here is the sell point. Here is another sell point. Here is another sell point. Okay? Because this is the OBV. So how to filter by OBV indicator? This indicator is simple and I think every investor Every new member also can grasp this filter method, okay? So this filter method, you just click OBV because this is the energy indicator. If you click OBV, then 30 days OBV. Maximum historical means the energy, the rising energy is strong, means this is the strong stocks. Okay, so how to filter? Firstly, we should click technical filter. Then, if you set some conditions before, you should clear all first. Then we can click logical filter. Change the original indicator to OBB. Okay, this one. Then change the log log logical relation to maximum. Maximum. Okay, then we click historical. Then click add. Okay, this condition is simple, right? It's easy to understand because maybe we learned some filter method before, but we need to set so many indicators, so many conditions. It's a little complicated. But if we use OBV, it's very simple. You just click OBV, then uh, maximum historical, then 
it's enough. No need to set other conditions, okay? It's enough. Then we can click filter. So let's see whether computer some strong stocks or not, okay? So we need to wait and see, see whether they have some strong stocks or not. Because a long, long time ago, I tried, I tried this method, and I think it's practical. So I taught this method to you. Okay, so we can see, but if you use this method to filter, if you use uh, some other methods to filter some stocks, to pick some stocks, you maybe will see so many indicators, so many stocks will appear, right? But if you use this method, only seven in the, uh, stocks will appear. This is the 90 shares. It's okay, right? Not, not a rule. So the first one. This stock is good or not? Okay, so this stock is strong, right? Because this is a new stock, right? <coughs> this is the strong stock. But <coughs> you see, the uptrend or downtrend? Uptrend, right? Okay, so when to buy? If you see the price retrace, maybe you have another chance to buy, okay? Then we can see next one. This one is also the new stock, okay? This one, we can see here. Where is the buy point? Last time I showed you this method. If you see the price drop, then the big bullish candlestick with high volume appears. Then it tells us that, how, where is the buy point? Where is the banker cost? Half of the candlestick, right? This is the big bullish candlestick. So we know that here, half of the candlestick is the buy point, is the banker cost. Okay, then we wait. Then the price touched the half of the candlestick again. Can we buy or not? Yes. It's for short term, okay? Then if you buy, you do some short term rebound. Then the price drop here again is another buy point. So drop here again is another buy point, right? Okay, so you should know, if you see the candlestick like this, how to find the banker cards, how to find the buy point, okay? So can you tell me where is the next resistance for this stock? Just now I told you here is the banker cards, right? Here is the support. Then here is the resistance, why? Because this is the half of the candlestick, right? It can be the support and it also can be the resistance. So here is the resistance, okay? But if we see the price can go up again, can upward breakthrough and can create a new high, like N type, right? If can upward break, create a new high, maybe it's the good stocks, good buy point, okay? Then we can see this stock, billions. We filtered this stock, so maybe you can pay attention, right? But when to buy, you should know, you should know where is the good buy point. Then we can see next one. This stock is good or not? Silver Lake. Recently strong, right? Okay, so if you didn't buy, you missed a good chance, you should wait until, maybe you can use BIAS to find some good buy point again, okay? So we can see this stock, good or not, best one, right? Long, long time ago, I also filtered these stocks. So we see here, this stock, can we buy again or not? If you see the stock like this, can we buy or not? Because we can see here, the price create a new high, right? But can we buy or not? If you see the price create a new high, you should check by the volume. The volume increase or not? Not yet. So it tells us that here is the good buy point or not. It's not a good buy point, okay? So because you see the price up, but the volume decrease, okay? So we can see this one we can find, right? Long, if you filter some days ago, 
you can filter at this period by this filter method, okay? Then we can see this one, no need to care. This one is also strong, right? So you can use this method to filter some strong stocks, okay? Then if you filter some stocks, then you should check by some indicators, okay? You see so many strong stocks. So you can use this method to filter some stocks, okay? If you want to practice whether this method is suitable for you or not, you can practice, okay? You can try. <coughs> then this is the first method. Then let's continue. Last, uh, the last indicator is about the relative strength index means SI. SI is a strength indicator which created by Wallace Wider. The short term, medium term technical analysis indicator is very common used in the stock market because this indicator is common, right? We used this indicator so many times. The principle of RSI, relative strength index, born on the relationship between the demand and supply amount. What's the meaning? We know that if the many investors, many investors buy the shares, then the price will go up, right? Then many investors think this stock will go down, and uh, you will. You, you feel very, uh, you, you think it's very dangerous, so you sell, then the price will go down, okay? The particular stock, the market's index moving at range during a certain period in the market to know the strength of the buyers and sellers. Therefore, to foresee the market, future market trend, okay? Analysis highlights. The first one, analysis of golden cross and the dead cross. The next one, strong market analysis and weak market analysis. The next one, pattern analysis of SI. Division analysis between SI and stock price. Overbought and oversold analysis. Okay, this is analysis highlights and I think, I hope you can uh, remember. The judgment standard. Value of RSI, the variation range is between zero and 100, and the value is generally distributed 20 to 80, okay? If you see the RSI is belong, it's between 80 to 100, 80 to 100, extremely strong. But if you see the share is extremely strong, you'd, you'd better prepare for selling, okay? The next one, 50 to 80, strong. You can keep and buy, okay? Buy and keep. The next one, 20 to 50, weak means wait and see. Zero to 20, extremely weak. You can buy, okay? Extremely weak. So this is the judgment standard. Then we can see next one. Overbought and oversold. In general, above 80 and below 20 is the boundary of overbought and oversold. Market is quite strong when RSI is above 80. The market is overbought and may adjust or reverse, which means investors can sell. Okay, so we can see this one. This is RSI, okay? So this is the stocks. Last time we saw Noble, okay? So we can see here, if you see the RSI is above 80, belong, the belong, uh, belong, it's in, it's between 80 to 100, means oversold, overbought area. You had better prepare for selling, right? Once the RSI go down, you better sell quickly, okay? So we see this stock. We can see this one. Israel. Then we can change to RSI indicator.
if you buy this dog before, you should know when to sell, okay? Then we can see here, the RSI is above 80. What's that meaning? It's the oversold, overbought area. <coughs> you had better prepare for selling. When to sell? When you see the RSI go down and below 80, you would better sell quickly, okay? So here, if you sell, you can avoid some risk. So we see here, go up again, but still weak, okay? Then you can use this method. The market is seen oversold when RSI is below 20. The price may rebound or reverse, which means indicator investors can buy. The market is in consolidation, and investors had a better wait and see when RSI is around 50. If you see the RSI is around 50, means the share is in consolidation area, okay? So you'd better wait and see, not buy, not sell. So we see here, this is the RSI, right? So we can see this is the, this is the term, this we can see here. If you see the RSI is below 0 to 20, so it is between 0 to 20. It means that oversold area. Then if you see the RSI go up, you can buy for short term. So here is another one. So here is another one, okay? Then we can see next one. Next one is about the golden cross and the dead cross. Short-term RSI, more than long-term RSI means bull market. Short-term RSI, less than long-term RSI, bear market. Short-term RSI upward cross long-term RSI, which is golden cross, it is buy signal. Short-term RSI downward cross long-term RSI, which is that cross, it, it is sell signal. Okay, so this is the RSI deviation, top deviation. It is top deviation when RSI is lower and lower, while the price is higher and higher. Top deviation is reversal signal, which shows the price will go down for short term, okay? So we can see some stocks. Then how to find the short term? So we see some stocks, whether have some correct uh, deviation or not. So you can see, if you see the stock like this, then you can see the price is higher and higher, right? But the RSI higher or not? Not yet. This is the top deviation. It's the reversal signal. You should uh, prepare to sell. Okay, for some stocks. Then this is the top deviation. Then we can see next one. It is the bottom deviation when RSI is higher and higher, while the price is lower and lower. Bottom deviation represents the price may rebound for short term. Okay, so we can see this one. Why this stock is good enough? So we can see here, the price it's lower and lower, but the RSI is the same, it's flat or go up. So this is the bottom deviation. If you see the stock is in bottom deviation, it means that the price may go up, okay? So you can catch some profit. A currency for top deviation is higher than bottom deviation. The price will go down when top deviation appears. Meanwhile, the price is in high area and RSI is above 80. However, the confirmation of bottom deviation should repeat bottom deviation for several times and investors only do short term investment. You'd better use RSI to judge the top deviation because the currency is higher 
okay? So, how to buy low, sell high? How to buy low, sell high, okay? How to set buy low, sell high signal in the software? Okay, so let's see this one. Later I will show you how to do this, okay? So this is the buy low, sell high. Buy low here. If you see the price 0 to 20 means the buy low, then 80 to 100 means sell high, okay? So how to set? First, we should click signals. We should click signals first. Then we can click advanced signal combination, okay? Because we want to keep this buy low signal and sell high signal together, then we can click advanced signal combination. Then we can set the name. Maybe we can set the buy low, sell high. Then we can click set up. Then click probability. Change the SI the parameter zero to twenty. Okay, parameter is nine. It's the same. We don't need to change the parameter. Okay, so zero to twenty. Click setup. Then we can click SI again. Change the parameter to eighty to one hundred and fifty. A uh, one hundred. Eighty to one hundred. Parameter is 9, then click set up again. Okay, the most important uh, process, most important is that you should change the color, okay? So we know that this is the blue color, the another one is blue color. If we set the same color, we cannot see clearly. Then we can click this one, the second one. Change the color to yellow color, we can click this one. Click this one. Then we can change to yellow color. Then click OK. And uh, you should click Modify. If you don't click Modify, you, you only see one color, the blue color. If you click Modify, you can two, see two colors, okay? So we'd better remember to click Modify. Then we click OK. So we can see this one. How to buy low, sell high, okay? If you see the blue signal disappear, it's the buy low signal, okay? Then you wait and see. Then you can see here, the yellow color appears, right? Means the over, so overbought area, okay? If you see the yellow signal appears, when you see the yellow signal disappear, it's the sell point. So you should sell quickly, okay? But we should remember. What's the difference? Okay, then we can see here. The, yet the blue signal appears is the oversold area, right? But can we buy or not? Can we buy here or not? The blue signal disappear. It's the buy signal, right? So you should check by the volume, okay? Because volume is very important. If the price up, the volume should be increased, okay? So we wait and see. Then here, can we buy or not? Yes, we can buy, but you should remember, this is only for short term, not for medium term, and the trend is in the uptrend or downtrend. Downtrend, right? So maybe you can buy one third position, and you should set stop loss point ahead. Then if you buy, you can, you should sell quickly because this is the short term correction, okay? Then, 
can we buy again or not? Here, can we buy or not? Yes, right. Then, if we buy, what's happened? The price drop, right? So I already told you that you should set stop loss point because this is the downtrend and you should control your position, okay? So if you see here, if you see the candlestick like this, half of the candlestick is important, right? If you see the price fall below half of the candlestick, what should we do? We should stop loss, okay? No hesitate just a stop loss. If you set stop loss point, you can set below 10%, below 10%, remember, below 10%, no. Below 10%. Because if you lost, and the loss may be 20%, where you sell or not? It's hard to sell. If you lose almost 80, 70%, will you sell or not? It's difficult to sell because you are trapped, right? But if you, maybe you lost 7%, it's easy to stop loss, okay? So you should set stop loss point less than 10%, okay? So here, you see the stop loss, then you wait again. Then this is the resistance, right? can break up, can not break through the resistance. Then go up again, go up again. So here is another sell point, right? Okay, then we can see next one. So we see here, can we buy or not? Here, the blue signal disappear. Whether can we buy or not? Volume increase, okay, so we need to wait. So here can we buy or not? Yes, we can buy for medium term. But we see here, can we buy or not? The blue signal disappear, but here can we buy or not? Here, no, because the volume decrease, okay, if you buy, you missed the chance. So here can we buy or not? No, okay? So you can use this method to judge the buy low sell high signal, but the premise is that you should check by the volume, okay? Volume is very important for us. Then we can see next one, some stocks. We can see this stock. So many yellow color appears, right? If you see the stock is in the uptrend, the yellow color appears, you should know that here is the chance to buy again, okay? Because the uptrend, if you see the yellow color disappear, you can buy again, okay? Because this is the down uptrend. But if you see the downtrend, you'd better sell quickly. So we can see this one, the strong stocks. So can we buy or not? Here is the blue signal, right? Here, if you see the price like this, the yellow color appears, right? When you see the yellow color disappear, means the short-term correction, right? But if you see the share is in the uptrend, you'd, you'd better prepare for buy again, okay? So here, it disappear, short-term correction, you can buy again because this is the uptrend. Okay, because how to find the, how to judge the trend is in uptrend. Lower low and lower high is the downtrend. Higher high and higher low is the uptrend. Okay, so we can see go up again. So we can see here the yellow appears right. If the yellow disappear, it means that the the price the share may have some short term correction. Okay, then we can see next one. We can see this stock. This stock, if you find some good opportunity, if you catch some good opportunity, okay? So we see here, can we buy or not? No, wait, okay? So here, can we buy or not? Yes, yes you can buy again, maybe one or two days, then you can 
buy here, then you can catch some profit. Here the price is 1.265, now it's already 1.41, okay? Then we can see another one. Let's see the stock Samsung. This is the strong stocks, right? But they prepared the previous high point. Then we can see next one is Noble. See whether have chance or not. So previous here, if you see this is the blue signal and the, the candlestick is also important for us to judge the support and the resistance, okay? So let's see Yang Zijiang. So this stock is good or not? Here is the buy point, right? Only for short term, because we can see here, can we buy or not? Yes, then you should do some short-term rebound, right? If you earn money, you should sell quickly because the trend is in sideways or downtrend, you should sell quickly. But if you see the price, is, the share is in the uptrend, even if the blue signal, even if the yellow signal appears, you should disappear, you'd better wait another chance to get in, okay? So we can see next one. We can see some high volume stocks. This one we judged before. Okay, so we see this one. If you follow this stock, so here is the yellow signal, right? Disappear, sell or not? Sell, because the trend is downtrend, right? So you should sell quickly. Then we can see this one. This one we, so we see here. This one is also by point, right? So we can see this one, the yellow, the blue signal appears. So here can we buy or not? Yes, we can buy. Then you can earn some profit, right? Okay. And we can see here, if we buy, so here we should sell because the share is in the downtrend or sideways, you should sell quickly. So if you follow this method, we can see this stock. Buy or not? The blue signal disappear. Can we buy or not? No, the volume didn't increase, right? So we wait and see. So here, can we buy or not? No, okay. So here, how about here? Still cannot. Here, still cannot, okay? But if you see here, maybe several days go up again, it's the buy point. Then you should here sell or not. Sell quickly because the trend is in, not in the down, not the uptrend, right? So you should sell quickly, okay? Then you can find some opportunity. Then we can see here. Here can we buy again or not? Yes, but only for short term. Okay, so this is the buy low, sell high signal, and I hope you can know you know how to set. I repeat again. Okay, firstly we should click signals, then we click advanced signals combination. We can click the name buy low, sell high. Then we click Setup. Click Probability. Change the parameter to 0 to 20. Click Setup. Then change the parameter to 80 to 100. Then click Setup again. And uh, click the second one because you need to change the color. Then we can click this one, change the change to yellow color. Then we should click modify, click OK. Then you can see the two colors will appear. Okay? So do you have any questions about this method or about this course? China Aviation Oil. China Aviation Oil. So let's see this start.
Do you know the code? What? 94. The code, share code. Uh, G94. G92. Okay. This chair is strong or not? Strong, right? Okay, so strong. This stock is good. But you maybe some investors missed a good chance, right? So we can see here. Then if you see the share is in the uptrend, then every time the yellow appears, means you have another chance to buy again, right? So here is another buy point. Here is also the buy point. But now can we buy or not? <coughs> now cannot, because we can see here, the price up, but the volume down, down right? So miss division. If you didn't buy, if you haven't bought yet, you cannot buy again. You should wait and see, okay? Where sell? Sell, maybe you can see the sell signal appears. Maybe you can use another signal like the Homely Rainbow or Brand Bear Expert. Okay, you can use some indicators to judge where is the sell point. But you should know, now it is the top division, right? So we cannot get him. Right. Division expert, emotion. Yeah. Down to division expert. Division expert. Yes, so cannot buy right. We confirm that now it's top division. We cannot buy, okay? So. You mean dangerous line? What's the top division? Yes. So this is today's course because, you know, we. Every Tuesday evening, we learn about the technical analysis, the eight courses. So every time we repeat, but I want to give, I want to teach some new contents. If we, if the class is same to the last lesson, but I will add some new contents. So I hope you can learn some. Because next today we learn about the indicator application light, uh, but next uh, course about indicator application, I will talk about the combination the indicators or indicators combination okay so it's different with the today's course so i hope you can come again okay so thank you for attending the class thank you so much nice day.